start. Today, it is Saturday, October 10, 2020. Good morning, good evening, good night, whatever, depending on the uh, situation. And uh, my name is Shoshi Bhandari. This is the first time I am trying to uh, do live broadcast. And uh, please give me comment so that I, I can be encouraged and do more and more again and again. Today, uh, I said good morning because it is morning here. And I'm in, uh, in Nepal, we get together. We uh, church people get together on Saturday. The reason is Sunday is not public holiday. Uh, and uh, besides that, because of coronavirus situation, we cannot get together in church. The coronavirus situation is still getting worse. This is Brother Ram Prasad Sarma. His name, his other name is Lazarus. So um, I am very happy he is with me and he's helping me because this is first time for me to do like this. And uh, so I invited him to help me. So first of all, I want uh, to, to say a short prayer. And uh, um, so let me say a prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Thank you for I am attempting the first time uh, to make a live broadcast in English, in English. And uh, please help me, Lord, to speak. And uh, please help me uh, in every way, Lord. I thank you for your grace. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your unfailing love. And most importantly, thank you very much for being our Savior. Thank you, Lord, please help in every, every aspect of uh, our life, Lord. Um, I say this prayer in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is slow to anger, abounding in love, and uh, forgiving the sins and rebellion. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I say this short prayer in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, whose throne is the heaven and the footstool is the earth. Amen. Today, I am trying to speak something about the parable. Our Lord Jesus Christ always spoke in parable. Parable is very, very powerful. And in many languages, many cultures, including Nepal, parables are very much used. And uh, today I'm, uh, I'm going to talk about the parable of wheat. That is the parable Lord Jesus Christ spoke to teach uh, his disciples, not just his disciples, he is teaching to all of us even today. So, um, so I am, I have prepared this parable, this talking today from Matthew chapter 13, verses 24 to 30 and 36 to 43. Um, actually, this parable I have memorized by heart. I don't even need to look at the book. I had memorized long time ago, but in paraphrased way. It, it may not be exact word. It was to make the simple English. I, I found a small booklet and in that booklet it was written that parable in a paraphrased way. So it is written like this. One day Jesus went down to the sea. In a short time a large crowd had gathered around him. The people were eager to speak, to, to hear what to, Jesus speaks. So, they, so he went into a boat and thought from there while people listened on the beach. In his sermon, Jesus gave this illustration. The kingdom of God is like a farmer who sowed good seed in his field. 
after a hard day's work, he went to bed and soon he fell fast asleep. Meanwhile, outside, the farmer's enemy was busy sowing weeds in freshly sown wheat field. When his evil work was done, he slipped away and uh, uh, slipped away. Then, as time went by, the weeds grew and formed the heads. The, we, the weeds grew too, they were growing together. As the thing was discovered, the servants of the farmer went and said to their masters, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? And in enemy did this, replied the farmer. Would you like us go and pull up the weeds? Asked the servant. No, said the farmer, because while you are pulling up the weed, you may root up the wheat too. Let them grow together until harvest. At harvest time, I will tell the harvesters to sort out the weeds, make a bundle and burn them. Then I will have the harvesters bring the wheat into my barn. When Jesus finished this parable, he went to another house. His disciples followed him. One of his disciples asked him, Sir, will you explain the meaning of this parable, please? All right, Jesus said. Um, Jesus said, Sower, I am the I am the sower who sows good seed, the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed stands for the people of kingdom. Weeds are people of the evil one. Enemy is devil. Harvest is the end of the time, and harvesters are the angels. As the weeds are pulled up and burned in the fire at harvest time, so it will be at the end of the age. I'll send my angels with weed out of my kingdom. Every everyone who causes sin and who all who do evil, but the ones. Uh, who, who obey me, who follow me, will shine like the sun in the kingdom of my Father. This is what the parable Jesus told. Not only this parable, he did his teachings many, many times by, the, by using the parable. So um, this is very much challenging to all of us. This is what uh, the Lord command is to obey him, to follow him, and uh, to give up all the sins we do. Our human heart, we all are human. Nobody in this world is perfect. So we should exercise all the, all the time to make our heart clean and to obey and follow him all the time. So, um, um, the devil, the devil is very active. Uh, he causes men, uh, his children, men and women both, he causes to, uh, to do sin all the time. He's very, very active and powerful also. But our Lord Jesus Christ is more powerful than the devil, than, than the Satan. So, um, we should follow all the time his command. And how, how can we follow his command all the time? This is not, uh, uh, this is not very hard some way. Jesus did not say to follow me, to be obedient with me, you should climb the Mount Everest. He, he, he did not say anything like that. He did not say to follow me, you should go and swim in the, Ocean. He did not say anything like that. He said to be obedient to his words, his commandment. We should read his words, the Bible, every day. And every day we should read. Every time we should, we can pray. Every time we should um, love our neighbors just like we love ourselves. And uh, uh, so all 
there are many many things but if we keep doing um, all these kind of things this is what this is how we can follow his commandments and um, uh, we are we are not the ones who will perish at the end time uh, Jesus clearly said that he will send his angels from heaven at the end time and uh, the um, the angels will shout out who are like wheat and who are like wheat so we want to be like wheat not the weeds we do not want to be burned in eternal fire so um, thank you very much for listening this is my first attempt and if it sounds good if it is a blessing i will do next week also thank you very much